Hello people, today I would like to make a vlog about shingles, the story of my shingles, okay. This happened just last few months, okay. First of all, what is shingles? I write down some information about shingles that I get from Google and then I will just read this for you guys. Okay, I, I was thinking to make this vlog in two languages because I cannot express myself better in English, so... I want to make a vlog in Filipino or Tagalog in more detailed story. Okay, number one. What is shingles? Shingles is an infection caused by the varicella zoster virus, which is the same virus that causes chicken pox. Even after the even after the chicken pox infection is over, the virus may live in your nervous system for years before reactivating as shingles. Shingles may also be referred to as herpes zoster. This type of viral infection is characterized by a red skin rash that can cause pain and burning. Shingles usually appears as a stripe of blisters on one side of the body, typically on the torso, neck, or face. I'm sorry. Most cases of shingles clear up within two to three weeks. Shingles rarely occurs more than once in the same person, but approximately one in three people in the United States will have shingles at some point in their life, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Symptoms of shingles. Try to understand this way. The first symptoms of shingles are usually pain and burning. The pain is usually on one side of the body and occurs in small patches. In small patches, a red rash typically typically follows. Rash characteristics include red patches, fluid filled blisters that break easily, a rash, a rash that wraps around from the spine to the torso, a rash on the face and ears, itching. Some people may experience symptoms be beyond pain and rash with shingles. With shingles, these symptoms may include a fever, chills, a headache, fatigue, muscle weakness, muscle weakness, and then <clears throat> rare and serious complication of shingles include pain or rash that involves that involve the eye, which should be treated in order to avoid permanent eye damage. Loss of hearing or intense pain in one ear, dizziness, or loss of taste on your tongue, which can be symptoms of Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Bacterial infections which you may have if your skin becomes red, swollen, and warm to touch. Who is at risk for shingles? Shingles can occur in anyone who has had chicken pox. However, certain factors put people at risk for developing shingles. Okay. Risk factors include being 60 or older, having diseases that weaken the immune system such as HIV, AIDS, or cancer, having had chemotherapy or radiation treatment, taking drugs that weaken the immune system such as steroids or medications given after an organ transplant. Okay, here's my story now oh, i will just sit in the mic <laughs> next next vlog so <laughs> why i crumble okay ne here's the story okay while i having a shingles of course i i i research in in youtube to know what is this rashes in my skin okay and then i there's a there's a there are stories that they were saying that that they may get it because because of of using a soap using a soap which is actually the same i think the same reason why i have shingles because that time before i got shingles i used a micro peeling soap because i wanted my skin to have to feel because it's so dry and it's like so old so i want to feel before i go back to the philippines i want my skin to look younger yeah like that because that here in Hong Kong, it's the weather is too harsh in, in, in our skin because sometimes it's very dry, sometimes it's very wet. So it, when, it's gum, when it's dry, it seems like your skin's like a very dry sponge. Uh, it's like that. And, and I don't like 
putting lotion, I'm, maybe I'm lazy or I don't have time because of my work. Uh, maybe more reason is laziness. Okay. That's why I, 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 I use that micro peeling soap and then I try one micro peeling soap, one, which is the placenta. In that two days, of, I feel irritated. I feel irritated. Uh, it seems like my skin is like burning like that. In two days, so I changed that placenta into maxi peel, which is micro peeling soap also. Uh, can help your skin to feel. Uh, to take out the dry, dry the old skin okay, I want it, want my skin to renew okay just adding some 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 words for you to understand better my what I'm saying um, okay and it's the same but in my skin also feel like irritated and it's like also like burning and then I stop that and then after that few days I feel like uh, my skin is seems like burning it's actually in the back of my knee and there's some 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 part of my knee that where that is where my skin goes i have pictures in here okay because it's a, it's in in the back at the back of my knee so i asked my sisters to help me take a picture but so i can see Okay, ito. <laughs> this is her cell phone actually. We, uh, I, I, I put that. Where is that picture? I need to find that pictures. Okay. Uh, okay. This is the first pictures. I hope you can see it. And there's the first picture at the back of my knee. As you can see that. I hope you can see. Maybe I can turn off the lights better. Yeah, there you go. And then, that's the first picture. And then, at my knee, there is also a red rash. And this is the, the after the burning feeling light. And then, I, I, I saw that I have this one. And then, that is, okay, the date is April 22. I got this picture, April 22. And also, this one is also April 22 the same date and then next is april 24 this is the picture okay i have this when i have got this burning sensation i i have this cream. i use this cream okay i've been using this for 10 years for all my skin problems especially itchiness and allergy i use this one and then later on i found out that when i read the leaflets Actually, when I'm using this, there is no almost okay. Some some redness is redness is gone, but seems like it's not working. Okay, and during this time, uh, okay, muscle, I have muscle weakness. I don't have fever, but I know that uh, there's a sickness in me. I feel sick. I, I know that I'm sick. You know, weakness or tired, tired feeling like that. And I'm using, I use this one in, in the first, in that day, okay? And then, what is next? Okay. Okay, of course, I know I'm sick. And that time, there is a measles infection here in Hong Kong and also in the Philippines. Last February, 700, 7,700, maybe 100 people or 1,000 have infection in the Philippines and it also here in Hong Kong. So, I got scared. And then, I need to go back to the Philippines. I have this. It's also a viral infection, so I get out. Uh, there's a what if I can cannot go back to the Philippines away? Okay. There's uh, something in my mind like that. Of course, I am sick. I needed to. Uh, what I do is strength my immune system and then do some research. And then while I'm re doing some research, uh, okay, st strength my immune system. Okay, I I left my household chores my. I just do my regular house so I do not add anything and I try to sleep take a rest and then eat healthy and then okay you and that's what I do that time okay and this is photo taken April 26 uh, April, April 26 this is the this is my shingles 
And this one is also April 26, maybe afternoon or ano, I don't know why that there's a time there. Okay, I hope you see. So, why um okay, why I was looking at the YouTube for the answer. Okay, answer that can help me. Here my singles, I I I I read in some comments that uh, that eating five fresh one apple can help you uh uh strong your immune system. So I eat fresh pineapple uh, during that singles time is i eat two big, big pineapple i just <laughs> it mean I, I just eat all yeah the two pineapple okay i eat one all this in a lunch and the afternoon yeah, i just fin i finish all and then uh but i at 9 p.m i still feel hungry because this is you know fruits is so at 9 p.m i eat, also eat rice Okay. The other pineapple, I don't have pictures. Okay, this one. So, it's long time already and here's my ticket. I need to go back to the Philippines. I still have shingles, so I get scared. I was thinking, uh, no. So, what I do is, this is not working. So, what I do is, this one. I pop my shingles using a... Uh, for this this is for the acne okay and this one i use this one i wash it with soap and water and then sterilize with it with alcohol with alcohol okay and then after i pop i clean and then this is what it looks like uh april 28 and uh, after i, I popped it i use betadine i use betadine and alcohol i i apply betadine Okay, in the morning, lunch time, 12 o'clock, and then uh, afternoon, uh, 4 to 5 p.m., and then before I sleep. So, four times a day I do this. I first wipe it with alcohol and then wipe with betadine. Wipe with betadine. That's what I do that time. Okay, so it, and it's dry. And it becomes dry. And this is the april 29 this is what look like there still shall have some uh watery but uh, you can see there's a better dines uh, on the upper side there's a i also have shingles in there but this is the bigger one so i only have this picture but there are some little patches in my in this leg in my re left leg but this is only have pictures okay but i continue the the and the this better time morning lunch time afternoon and before i sleep and then the last picture i have is april 30 it's almost okay no more watery and even the other parts the other shingles in my skin is okay so april 30 okay la. this is what i do i pop Ma on a morning, lunch time, afternoon, and then before I sleep, I wipe this. But, okay. Okay, lunch, okay, morning, I wipe it with alcohol, and then wipe this one. And then, la lunch time, I wipe, and then clean the betadine. I take out the old betadine, and then rip with alcohol and cotton, and then replace into this, like this. Okay? I can understand what, I'm, what I want to, to say. Uh, and then, that's the last picture. No more. It's almost healed that April 22. So it started, the, the shingle started April 22 and then April 30. It's almost no more. It's already, oh yeah. Okay lang. But I still continue wiping uh, Veradine on it. And then it's okay lang. And now, what my shingles look like. Ay. I wanted to show to you. Okay. Hi. Uh, this is also my shingles, but this is this have mark because I'm taking care of a dog. She three times poked this with her nail. So yeah, there's still this one longer time to heal. And then there's my shingles now. I hope you see. And this one. Yeah, I didn't use any scars uh scream so that's why i have scars but it's okay yeah 
Okay, here, there's my there you go my story about my shingles. Okay. I hope this can help you uh Okay, I'm not saying that the old shingles are the same, especially the shingles in your eyes. That is you needed uh, to consult a doctor immediately. There okay, if you are severe your shingles is severe and I'm not you needed to go to the doctor, okay? And I'm not saying that you you also do this. But I was just sharing my story about my shingles. Okay, that's it. I hope that you like this video and and if you enjoyed this video, if you think this this help, please give thumbs a uh, like. Thumbs <laughs> okay, yeah, thumbs up. And and subscribe for for another video from me. Thank you very much for your time for listening. Bye-bye.